Hi guys, hello everybody. This is Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe and today I am at home in Auckland, New Zealand. Today is my two year travel anniversary, so I've been traveling full time for two years now. I'm really excited about it and I'm celebrating by eating vegan cake and writing a new ebook which I'm really excited about. So a lot of exciting things happening but today i am going to do the get to know me tag so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better question number one are you named after anyone i am not named after any particular person um i know that my parents just really like the name amanda i also know that if i were to be a boy my name was going to be calvin so i'm really happy that i'm a girl <laughs> number two is when is the last time you cried um I don't actually cry very often at all. I'm like pretty happy almost all of the time. <laughs> I think the last time I cried was a few weeks ago when I was feeling really overwhelmed with a lot of things that I have going on. Like I had just moved to Auckland and I was um, having a hard time getting adjusted to the job that I have here and I felt like I was having a hard time keeping up with everything that I want to do because I really 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 want to spend a lot of my time working on creative projects like writing, like making YouTube videos, I want to be able to have time to take care of my health like going for hikes and doing yoga and it's hard to manage everything that I want to do while working full time, like part to full time. I work between four to five days a week and it's full days. So yeah, I just had a really hard day one day and I was feeling really, really overwhelmed and I cried. <laughs> I cried about it and that was the last time I cried. Uh, do you have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. I'm not planning on having any kids and I don't have any kids right now. Number four is if you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself or would you be your own friend? I really hope so. I really try to be conscious of the way that I present myself to the world and I try to be a really good friend to the friend, friends. I try to be a really good friend to the friends that I do have. I think that I'm a pretty good friend. I feel like when I was, when I first started traveling and I was traveling alone um, for a year and a half, I was traveling alone and during that time I kind of had to be my own friend. Do you use sarcasm a lot? I do, but I'm actually, I used to be a lot more sarcastic and to be honest, I feel like sarcasm isn't the most productive thing and it's also, sarcasm is like, I don't know if it's like a very like, I just am really aware of the kind of person that I want to be and the way that I want to present myself to the world and being sarcastic is not really what I want to be but it is like I am really sarcastic naturally so it's kind of something that I'm trying to gravitate away from but I definitely can be very sarcastic. And number six is what's the first thing that you notice about people? I definitely notice like their energy. I am really sensitive to people's energy and I am very aware of the way that people present themselves, like just the overall mood that they have about things and the, the overall like energy, whether it's positive or negative or whatever. Um, I'm really attentive to that and I notice that really, really quickly when I meet someone, just the way that they say things and the things that they say makes me realize really quickly whether or not I want to be around them all the time. I also tend to notice hair on girls or guys, especially if they have long hair. Like, I really love long hair. I've talked about this before. Like, I'm trying to grow my own hair, but it looks so short because it's curly. Anyways, I really, really love the look of long hair. I hope to have my own someday, but I always notice when girls have really long and beautiful hair. Number seven is what is your eye color? My eye color is like a dark green slash hazel. I prefer to say that it's green because I think that's more exotic, but to be honest, I think it's just like a green brown, whatever. Uh, number eight is scary movies or happy endings. I definitely prefer happy endings. I am not fully a fan of scary movies anymore. <laughs> number nine is favorite smells. I really love the smell of vanilla. I really love the smell of fresh baked bread, like I love bread so much. <laughs> I love the smell of bread. I love 
vanilla like as a perfume um, those are definitely my favorite scents I also really love the combination of coconut lime and verbena I remember when I was working at Bath and Body Works like forever ago seriously like 10 years ago or more than that probably I was working at Bath and Body Works and I used to always wear the coconut lime verbena lotion and I think that's just it's just an amazing combination of smells. I really, really like it. It's very fresh and like zesty. <laughs> and I think it's just a really, really nice smell. I also love the smell of rain, like when it hasn't rained for a long time and then it rains and it hits the cement and it makes this smell. It's like so fresh. I love that smell. Also, my last one that I'll say is jasmine. I love the smell of jasmine especially when it's like a plant and it's outside and you're in the spring and you're walking down the street and you can smell the jasmine plant oh my god it's so nice and that like the honeysuckle oh mm, yes number 10 what's the furthest you've ever been from home um i've pretty much been around the world so the furthest i've ever been from home is australia because that's literally on the other side of the globe i'm from california from northern california and australia is literally the farthest place i could ever go from home and i lived there for almost a year number 11 is do you have any special talents um i don't really think so i don't feel like i'm a very talented person that sounds really bad i feel like i can do things that maybe some people can't do like i can french braid my own hair which i guess is my special talent i don't think it's that cool to be able to do that but you know <laughs> It's my one thing. Number 12, where were you born? I was born in Santa Rosa, California. Number 13, what are your hobbies? Um, to be honest, I think I have a few too many hobbies because I don't even have time to do all the hobbies that I have, but things that I love to do are reading, writing, hiking, photography. I also really love going for long walks. I love going to the beach. I love exploring new places. I love travel. Like. Someday I'll be able to do all of that in one day, but for now, I just try to keep up with what I can do. Number 14, do you have any pets? I have a cat that I got when I was in college named Raja. He is orange, he is beautiful, and he's named after the tiger in Aladdin. I love him so, so much, and my parents have been taking care of him but for now. I just see him on FaceTime when I talk to my parents and I see him when I go home and I love him so much and he's so cute. I put him in a few of my videos when I go home so you guys might have seen him. Number 15 is do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two sisters and one brother. Yeah, they've all been on my website. Um, I talk about them a lot I feel like so I feel like especially my sisters because I'm really close with my sisters. But yes, I do have siblings. <laughs> Number 16 is what do you want to be when I grow up? <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? So I want to be a writer when I grow up. Writing is my favorite thing in the world and I would love to be a published author. And that is definitely a goal on my bucket list and I, I know I can make it happen. Being a writer is my dream. I would love to be able to do that full time, like traveling and writing. Number 17 was who was your first best friend? My first best friend is a girl named Violet. I met her in preschool and I'm still friends with her today. Number 18 is how tall are you? I think that I'm five feet five inches, but I usually tell people that I'm five feet six inches. I think five six sounds better than five five. So we'll just go with five six. Number 19 is funniest moments throughout high school. Throughout school, funniest moment throughout school. Um, I'm not sure what the funniest moment was, probably when I gave my PE, my PE teacher a bar flavored jelly bean and he was not, I definitely wasn't his favorite student after that, um, like I was before. <laughs> Number 20 is how many countries have you visited? I have visited 25 countries and I'm not even close to finishing. <laughs> I'm going to a lot more. Number 21 is what was your favorite and worst subject in high school? I can tell you my worst subject in high school was chemistry. For some reason I could not understand chemistry. My favorite subject, I always loved math. I actually loved math so much that I became a math major at one point when I first started college. I was going to be a math major and I wanted to be a math teacher for about four years. I was planning to become a math teacher. I love math. <laughs> Number 22 is what is your favorite drink, your favorite animal, and your favorite perfume? That's a lot of 
random questions. So my favorite drink, I'm a, definitely a beverage person. I love drinks in general. My favorite healthy drink is probably kombucha. That's like my favorite specialty drink. I also love coconut water. I drink coconut water almost every single day. Um, alcoholic drink, I love wine. I uh, spent a good few years of my life studying wine. I really, really appreciate wine. I love wine. I also love beer. I don't really drink hard alcohol, so those are like my alcohol drinks. <laughs> uh, my favorite animal, oh my God, I cannot choose a favorite animal. My favorite, I can tell you like my favorite animal from each type of animal. Like my favorite farm animal is a pig. My favorite exotic animal is probably a monkey. My favorite cold weather animal is a polar bear. And yeah, I have a, I, lo I just love all animals to be honest. Like I wish I could hold them all and pet them all and hug them all every day. Like I, I am obsessed with animals. <laughs> Uh, my favorite perfume is, I don't really wear perfume to be honest, it's not a thing that I do, but I did used to have this like little roll-on ball that smelled like vanilla. I really like that. Number 23 is what would you name your children? I really haven't thought about this because I don't want children, but when I was younger and I thought I did want children, I always wanted to name, I always thought of girl names that were like classic, like Juliet or Catherine, things like that. I always really like those kinds of names. Number 24 are what sports do you play or have you played? I am like 30 years old now, so I don't really play that many sports or I just don't have the opportunity to, but I have in the past played a lot of sports. I have played tennis, was probably my favorite sport that I played. I was really into gymnastics for a very long time. I used to do ballet when I was like five and I used to run track when I was in high school, which I also really loved. And yeah, I used to run a lot recently up until like a little bit before I started traveling and I used to really love running, but I'm just to the point now where I'm so injured that um, it really is painful for me to run, but I have run a seven half marathons and one full marathon. So like, that's how much I love running. Um, number 25 are who are your, some of, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I really watch a big variety of YouTubers. Some of my favorite ones, like I have a favorite one from each category that I watch. I really have been loving watching Holistic Habits for skin care and hair care advice. I really love Sustainably Vegan for zero waste inspiration. I really like watching Zoe, Zoe Ariel because she talks a lot about minimalism and travel. I feel like there's so many people that I watch on YouTube, like I can't even remember them all, but that's my current favorites. <laughs> Number 26 are how many um, how many boyfriends have you had? I would say that I've had like three serious boyfriends. I don't really want to go into that. <laughs> Number 27 are, is what is your favorite memory from childhood? My favorite memory is probably when my mom, when I was about five years old, I must have been older than that, I was probably like eight, and my mom went to take me and my brother to school and inst we drove right by my school and I said, mom, you just drove right past our school. And she said, we're not going to school today, kids. We're going to Disneyland. And she drove us all the way to Disneyland, which is a eight hour drive. And we, we just went to Disneyland. Like It was great. It was really, really fun. And that was, yeah, that's probably my favorite memory from childhood. That was like, the best day ever. <laughs> Number 28 is how would you describe your fashion sense? I would describe it like very basic and minimal and not very fashion-y. <laughs> Number 29 is what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6 and yeah, I'm team iPhone all the way. I would, I would never get an Android. Mm -mm. Michael has an Android, I have an iPhone. We cannot work each other's phones. Number 30 is, what is one of your bad habits? Um, probably my worst habit is biting my fingernails. I'm 30 years old and I still bite my fingernails. So yeah, it's terrible, but I do it, so YOLO. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it got so long, <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a good day and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see from me. I'm thinking about doing 30 videos in 30 days for the month of December. I am, um, I think that would be really fun. I've never done that before. So 
leave me any video suggestions down below if there's anything specific you want to see and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!